You can add links to web pages inside of a Flash text field. Either the entire text field can serve as a link, or individual parts of text within a text field can serve as a link. And this is our completed example, and at the top we have an entire text field that's linking to a Wikipedia page. In the middle, this text field contains all this text, and parts of the text are linking to different pages. Again, we'll link back to the Wikipedia page with this text, and then to a page at Louisiana Tech University for this piece of text. So let's get started. And what we'll do is open up a starting file. So let's see what we have in our starting file. We have two layers down at the bottom. I'll click the top layer and that contains this entire text field that has the title. And I'll just select the text field and we can look at the properties and we can see we have a family chosen here for impact and a size of 30. And I'll select the second layer and we have a large text field in the middle of our web page and I'll just select it briefly and we can see its properties a different font different font size so let's start with the top text for our title we'll select the text field and then I'll open the file that contains some links that we can use and we'll take this first link and we'll copy that and then under the options group for our properties for this field there's a link for URL links and we'll click on that and we'll paste it and I'll click back here on the stage area and hypertext link when you're in flash shows an underscore to remind you that there's a hyperlink or a link attached to that text and then we'll do control test movie and when I roll the mouse over that text it indicates that it can be clicked and then I'll click it and the flash control test movie has opened up the web page in my default web browser and we'll close this and we'll close the tab that was opened in my web browser. Now for the second text field we'll highlight some of the text inside of it and give them hyperlinks. So let's first go get the hyperlink from my source file. I'll just copy this one and then I'm going to click into the text field and that will put me into edit mode and I'll highlight the words hello world program at Wikipedia and then under options I'll paste in the link field what I got and just press enter to make sure that takes and you can see the dashed lines indicating something had happened and go back to the selection tool just click on the stage and again the text that contains a hyperlink will show an underscore to remind you and I go back to the text field and grab the second link URL and then I'll copy it and I'm going to click into the text field again I'll highlight the Louisiana Tech University Hello World page site. And in the options link URL, I'll paste the second one and press enter just to make sure it takes. Go back to the selection tool and click on the stage. Now uh, I'm going to test the movie. I'll use the shortcut key for control test movie. And what we don't see is a way to know which text is highlighted, except if we move the mouse around and sort of guess at it. So let me close this and I'm going to click back into the second text field and highlight the text that's going to be a hyperlink text and I'll just change the color so that someone knows that there's something different and I'll highlight the color over here. We do not have the ability to put an underscore in in the flash IDE environment without using action script so the color is the best we can do and I'll just get that selection tool just in case uh, I don't click accidentally and create a text field and now here's our movie running in control test movies a test environment and we can roll over this text that we've given links to and we'll click on the first one and again in the default web browser what the test movie environment does it opens up the default web browser and it shows us the link for the first one and I'll go roll over the second one, the Louisiana Tech one, and click that, and it opens up another browser tab. This is the default behavior for Control Test Movie, and we see that page open. We close these both and just roll over the second one. We see, again, it works uh, by opening up the first web browser, if that's the case. So what we'll do is uh, close these tabs. And so in other exercises, we'll explore actually opening up the Flash Movie 
inside the web browser because the behavior starts to change when we get out of the test environment. So we're in a test environment, some things are being taken care of for us, such as in the area of security. So that completes this, so save your work. And let me just open up the links again. An important item to remember is to include the HTTP colon slash slash when you're going out to another web page so you can ensure that the link works. If you're going to a web page inside your own website, you can eliminate that. Adding links to Flash text fields and text within Flash text fields is really easy. You may need to use some color formatting to give a visual clue to click the text. Also, remember to use the HTTP colon slash slash if you're linking to a web page outside of your own website.